Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 2nd May, we'll talk about Boaz, the mighty man. Boaz in, is introduced by the phrase, a mighty man of wealth, the same expression used of uh, Gideon and Jephthah in the book of Judges. His name means, in him is strength. And there is no doubt that this great landowner of Bethlehem is seen in the story of Ruth as a man of character, courage, and conviction. He was a godly man who was always sensitive to the needs of other people. His words to his employees, relatives and others were colored with kindness. Boaz followed the Israelite law that required farmers to leave the edges of their fields unharvested and its gleanings uh, gathered so, so that uh, the pe poor people might re uh, reap them. During the barley harvest, the young widow Ruth came into Boaz's field to glean. When he learned that her deceased husband was a distant kinsman, Boaz invited her to eat with him and asked her to glean only in his field, instructing his farm workers to leave sheaves of barley, especially for her to gather. At the urging of her mother-in-law, Naomi, Ruth later went to Boaz to remind him of his right an obligation as a relative of her late husband to marry her. They did marry and their son Obed became the grandfather of King David. In the book of Ruth, the God of Israel was in control of every instant that happened. The first meeting of boys with Ruth highlights the modesty of Ruth and the chivalry of boys. His interest, his instructions to his overseer, and his provision for Ruth and Naomi make delightful reading and reflect the moral and spiritual values he possessed. Three months later, at the close of the harvest season, when all have retired to rest, Ruth uncovers the feet of the sleeping boys and takes up herself a place there. Instructed by Moya, Moya, Naomi, she is uh, presenting herself as a supplicant and nothing immodest or immoral is implied. On his waking, Boaz recognizes the claim and graciously responding gave Ruth his word, Fear not, I will do all that you require. Naomi, through Ruth, is claiming that Boaz acts the part of the kinsman and redeems the inheritance of Elimelech. Boaz has clearly the necessary wealth, but since there was another person involved, he had to get first clearance from that person. This mighty man of courage and conviction has pledged himself to redeem. Very soon he took the gleaner in his field as his bride. The picture of redemption is seen in this story. Restoration, rest and redemption. Naomi pictures a restored Israel. Ruth pictures a purchased bride, the church. And Boaz pictures Christ the Redeemer. All are precious truths seen in this picture. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us about the great person, Boaz, and his godly deeds. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.